Yes, and hello. Welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. All that. This is the Randy Rudder segment. I am actually Genie Man, filling in for Randy. Is he? He's just not here. Um, to all you watching at home, why don't you kick back, uh, relax, have your wife bring me a cold one. Enjoy the show. With that, we're going to go ahead and bring out our first guest. First guest of the evening. He is world widely renowned as the definitive Alice in Chains fan. He has individual DNA samples of each and every member of that band, past and present, live or dead. Um, gotta love that. Gotta love that. Uh, without further ado, Alec in Chains, everybody. Alec in Chains. Alec in Chains. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to see you. I'm uh, excited to bring my love for the band to this forum. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that. We'll talk about your day going all right? Yeah. yeah good. good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started with, you know, like a, a musical icebreaker of sorts, you know, kind of a gauge of our, you know, oral personalities and shit like that. Um, you know, top five all times since you've been born, you know, amalgamations of personalities and you know, corresponding people that make music you really like. Top five. You know, go. Hit me with it. We'll alternate. You give me yours, I'll give you mine. You get it? You got me? Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains. That's, that's good stuff. I like Swans. Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains. You know, he, he is the Alice in Chains fan, so not nothing to be surprised at. I like, uh, I like Burzum. Yeah. Alice in Chains is pretty good. Death Grips. Death Grips is great. Yeah, it seems like uh, something you'd like. Yeah, I mean, we, we got to four out of five, but you kind of kind of pushed the joke too far. You know, if there was a line at which before the joke would be funny, you cross that line, and right on the other side is a cliff, you know? It, so we're just going to we're gonna drop that. We <laughs> I can, was being we can serious. Cut it, yeah, I, yeah. I was being serious. Uh, that's serious how much about what? Alice in Chains. I mean, it would be, you know, all. But, but if you... If you want my honest answer, what would have been fourth if that were sitting there on? Oh, really? No, absolutely not. That's absolutely, absolutely not. So, um, you know, you you love Alice in Chains. Nirvana would have been your number four. You clearly love a lot of grungy things. Have you ever been to Seattle? Uh, never been to Seattle. So you must have been to like Aberdeen, like you know Kurt Cobain's hometown. Can't say I've ever been there either. Enough. Never been either of those places. Seriously? Never? Yeah. I know a lot about them, but never. That's I know a lot about. Them. Have you ever been in like in Washington? Never. Been On a layover or anything, you know? I never stepped foot. I know you're busy, you know, with like your book signings and you know your press conferences for definitive Alec and Chain. Alec. Alex, his name. Alice is the band. Alice in Chains. I forgot what I was saying. Um, what was I saying? Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. So you've never even been there? No, not yet. No, I, it's hard to find the right time. I know. well, okay. Here's what. Here's the issue I take with that, Alec. Um, you know, we've got a we've got a large following. You know, we've got a bunch of viewers at home, and to them, I introduced you as the definitive Alec in Chains fan. Like. Top, you know, top tier, you know, first prize. Well, I'm sorry, fucking sorry. We'll fucking carry on. Just cut that. We ask you a question. Uh, you ever uh, a big Death Grips fan? Right? You ever been to? Northern I like them. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been to Northern California? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? You're you're a big you're you're the biggest Death Grips fan. In the world, from what I hear, and you've never been to Northern California. No, never, never been to Northern California. So, by that logic, how, you, how can you call yourself the biggest fan? You know, it's like, it's like a Star Wars fan. You know, they've never been to Tatooine, but they're still, 
big fans, right? Tatooine's a fictional fucking planet, Alec. Alice, whatever. Who gives a yeah. Yeah. So. Hey! Hey, what are you, hey, hey look, you look who's back. Randy Rudder, everybody. Yeah, Randy right. motherfucking Rudder's yeah. back. He's so, back on the show. Yeah, got so He's the, back so on the show. Like good shit. Did you get some groceries? Yeah, you know, he keeps playing. Yeah, yeah, Randy Rudder, he's out getting groceries, yeah. everybody. Hey! What the hell? What the hell do you think you do? You hate the segment? My segment? The Randy My segment. Enterprise? Us as humans. Our species. Fucking rock trash. We get to do whatever we want to do. We don't have to share. Okay? I don't want to share my segment. Why don't you just get the fuck off my stage? Get the fuck off the set. Get the fuck off the set. I don't like the that. Set. It would be Quick. Please. Quick, just, just quick. Please. Just one Quick question. Quick fucking question. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Yeah. In that demented little skull of yours, in the reality that you see, is this little five by five square concrete? Does that, does that, does that constitute a set for you? To you? Absolutely. Dude. You piece of garbage. Get the fuck off my set. This program is my baby. Okay? It's before you, orange piece of shit. Ever since the self mutilation videos, did you see what I've accomplished? I got to interview Professor David Keith. I got to interview Julian Myers, one of the best authors I've ever read in my entire life. And I'm just not people sharing my one accomplishment. What you don't fucking understand is that once the science research has to be completed and done itself away with completion, it, the, the show, nothing, it's going to fall into nothing. It's going to crumble into dust. It's going to fall into the black. Just like everything else, but you don't understand. If you want me gone, I'll be gone for you. But not without my fucking clothes hanger. Can I gift it to you in a sign of friendship? Don't make me but now I'm requesting that you return as a sign of you. butt ignorance. Give it to me. I'm not gone without it. If you want me out of the segment. I think I was uh, promised I'd get to discuss Mike Starr's method addiction. Listen, I get done with this dick that asks you all the questions I want, okay? Here, can you just give me for a second? Just... Oh, God. Nice you want some? No, I'm alright. That killed some else and changed over. Big Rand. Oh, I like the chains. I uh, let me get back to you on that. First, you're doing great, by the way. First, I'm talking to a fucking minion down over here. What? The fucking genie man. What? I, I don't give a shit if you don't fucking respect creative control or artistic integrity. What? Well, I fucking show, but, but I like wait, wait. He brought. D, Alice in Chains on my fucking segment, my show, you're gonna bring Alice in Chains? I still can't get over the fact that you don't respect creative control. What the or fuck? What the all. fuck? That is the worst accusation think, anyone has ever levied against or, or me. anything on the set or the segment. What the fuck? I'm crucial to what? this. What the you, fuck? You need me. You need me. What the fuck? You're not gonna get any more of this. Any more of this fucking. This, you're not gonna get any more of it without me. Okay? Did you book Alice in Chains? No. 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 I no. booked Alice in Chains. <laughs> and I'm not booking a single thing. <laughs> you didn't do shit. The crew books the goddamn guest. You think I wanted Julian Myers here? You think I wanted Julian Myers here? You know, you know so little. You know so little about it. I'm the one that does all of that. I fucking hate you. 
I hate you. And also, the one thing that really fucking pisses me off is that last time you and me were at fucking hearts. Yeah, okay, and I... Okay, yeah. Hey, hey, wait, 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 I want, you know what, no, you know what, no, I don't fucking want you here. Because if you're not going to respect journalists, or journalistic effort, or my integrity, you can just go. And you know what else? I think any motherfucker that thinks that William Duvall is the worst singer at Jerry Cantrell is a motherfucking racist. See so you know what? Let's get the fuck off the show. Let's get the... What are you, what are you doing? Get, get the fuck off the show. Get the fuck... Ah! Ah! Dude, that got like really dark for a second, dude. Like, I was sort of fucking crying, dude. He was just crying. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. I know. Dude, no. He you got your fucking eye out. <laughs> I know, right? Dude, I didn't know he fucking had it in him. You're like fucking Dr. Tyrell from Blade Runner. <laughs> what the fuck? You man? The being from 12 is nearby. Wait, I feel it. Wait. The post human? You found the post human? Is that what we're calling? Is that what we've settled? Is that what we're calling? I, I like it. He's the he's the he's the post human. Should we go now or wait until the morning? Um. Will you um? Do you think you'll be powerful enough to stop him in the morning? I don't think we should risk it. All right. Well, uh, let's get up, big boy. Dig up. Take that shit out. Dig up. Bring down the post human. <laughs> 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 <laughs>